Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. So this is week six assignment of cyber security course. Guys, I have also pre made a previous videos regarding week previous week five assignment. You can go through that. And coming to this video, guys, please watch the video till the end without skipping. If you skip the video, you may miss some valuable content. Or if I change any solution, you may miss that. So do watch the full video. And friends, I hope every solution is 100% correct. Uh, but if you feel that there should be any changes to be made, please uh, inform me in the comment section. So I'll try to give the best solution to our viewers. And also, once again, uh, view the comment section before the submission to check if there are any changes. So let's see the first question. The main focus here is to protect websites from unauthorized access so for first question the correct answer is third option website security so mark third option as correct answer for first question and moving on to the second one applications that create unique uh, that create queries dynamically can be considered as a risk source due to this attack so friends, I think the answer for second question may be an uh, injection attack. So I'm not sure about this second question. So I think mostly injection attack is the correct answer. <coughs> and moving on to the third one. Select the strategy that is followed by the employees for mobile data security. So for third question, I think uh, all the three options are correct. So mark fourth option all the above must be followed and moving on to the fourth question identify the tool that functions as a gateway behind between the installed infrastructure and various cloud applications like Dropbox so for fourth question the answer is fourth option that is cloud access security broker so mark fourth option as correct answer for fourth question and moving on to the fifth one which malware looks like trusted attachments or includes hyperlinks that redirects to malicious websites so for this the answer can be second option that is phishing email phishing email so the emails contains some links or some attachments to make us click that so i think option b is the correct answer i mean second option and moving on to the sixth question select the functions that prevents from the compromise of broken authentication and session management so guys actually uh, what they have mentioned in the lectures is option a keys option b session tokens option c cookies they did not mention about option d so i think only a b c are the answers so mark option c third option as correct answer So guys, if you feel there should be any changes, you can please uh, mention it in the comment section. I will try to give the final conclusion for your comment. So moving on to the seventh question. Read the statements given below and answer them whether they are true or false. So first statement. Open Web Security Project is an organization for email security. So guys, it is false statement it is not for email security it is for applications i think so it is not the answer i mean it is not correct statement and second one ne ne network security is same as web application security it has both uh, similar features but 
i think it is not both are not same because it is it belongs to network and this belongs to the web application so i think both are false guys uh, if you think there should be any other answer you can please ask me in the comment section regarding any question so i think seventh for seventh question the answer is second option that is both are false <coughs> moving on to the eighth one match the following cloud computing aspects with its properties so service integration service integration it is integration of many cloud services so for first question a is correct and second one information integrity so for second one secure storage of data and information and for third one authentication verification of legitimate users so option 3 is the probable answer for eighth question and moving on to the ninth one <coughs> and of course uh, fourth one networks protection network protection protection of network boundary so third option moving on to the ninth question arrange the workflow of encryption and decryption process so first uh there will be a raw file so first a should be correct so given first and third options both given a only and let's check for the second order so second uh, encrypt file with public key it should be the second one according to the order so if you see the third option they have given the exactly they have given the exact option so third option is the correct answer for ninth question and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th question given below are these two statements and uh, we have to uh, mark whether they are correct or wrong so statement 1 securing an email system is the responsibility of the end user so guys i think it is wrong because it is the responsibility of the admin or the organization it department so it is the responsibility of the organization so i think first answer first statement is incorrect and next one mime is a free cryptography package that helps people in exchanging messages and provide authentication in email system i think second option is correct i mean second statement is correct so mark fourth option statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct as correct answer so friends these are the solutions for week 6 cyber security course hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends if you have any doubts or if you want to make any suggestions regarding the correction of solutions you can please ask me in the comment section so for further more videos like this please keep supporting our channel until the next video it's goodbye